Coming up on 5-Minute News. Body cam video released of Ohio officer fatally shooting unarmed black man. Obstruction of justice in plain sight at Mar-a-Lago. And crimes against humanity cited in China's Xinjiang. It's Thursday, September 1. I'm Anthony Davis. Police in Columbus, Ohio released body camera footage of a white officer executing an unarmed 20-year-old black man while attempting to serve an arrest warrant. In the video, an officer can be seen firing at the man who police identified as Donovan Lewis shortly after locating him in an apartment on Tuesday morning. Lewis can be seen appearing to sit up in bed and raise a hand in the moments before he is shot in the abdomen by officers in a botched arrest. Police Chief Elaine Bryant said during a news conference that Officer Ricky Anderson fired his gun when Lewis appeared to raise a hand with something in it. Bryant said a device appearing to be a vape pen was later found on the bed right next to him. No weapon was found. Anderson, a 30-year veteran of the force who was assigned to the K-9 unit, was placed on paid leave, which is standard protocol for officers who shoot their weapons on duty. Officers have been attempting to serve a felony warrant at an apartment just before 2.30 a.m. when the deadly shooting unfolded, the Columbus Division of Police said. On the video, officers are seen inside the apartment with a police dog, which appears to start barking at a back bedroom door. Officers advance upon the door and Anderson, gripping the dog's collar in one hand, pushes it open with the other before firing his weapon directly at Lewis, who was asleep. Police said officers provided aid to Lewis until Columbus fire medics arrived on scene and transported him to hospital. Lewis was pronounced dead at the hospital at 3.19am, police said, within an hour of the incident unfolding. Lewis's death comes less than two years after a Columbus police officer lost his job days after fatally shooting another black man who was found to have been unarmed. It also comes after the fatal police shooting of 16-year-old Makia Bryant, who was killed by a Columbus police officer in April of last year. The FBI investigation into top-secret government information discovered at Mar-a-Lago is zeroing in on the question of whether former President Donald Trump's team criminally obstructed the probe. A new document alleges that government records had been concealed and removed and that law enforcement officials were misled about what was still there. The latest Justice Department motion in the case is focused less on the removal last year of classified information from the White House to Mar-a-Lago and more on the events of this past spring and summer. That's when law enforcement officials tried, unsuccessfully, to get all documents back and were assured falsely that everything had been accounted for after a diligent search. The Justice Department issued a subpoena in May for the records, and officials visited Mar-a-Lago on June 3rd to collect them. When they got there, they were handed by a Trump lawyer a single red weld envelope, double-wrapped in tape, containing documents. A custodian for the records presented a sworn certification to the officials, saying that any and all responsive documents to the subpoena had been located. A Trump lawyer said that all records that had come from the White House had been held in one location, a storage room, and there were none in any private space or other spot at the House. But the FBI came to doubt the truth of those statements and obtained the search warrant to return on August 8. Officials had developed evidence that government records were likely concealed and removed from the storage room, and that efforts were likely taken to obstruct the government's investigation, the new Justice Department filing says. In their August search, agents found classified documents not only in the storage room, but also in the former president's office, including three classified documents found not in boxes, but in office desks. In some instances, the agents and attorneys conducting the review of seized documents required additional clearances since the material was so highly classified. China's discriminatory detention of Uyghurs and other mostly Muslim ethnic groups in the western region of Xinjiang may constitute crimes against humanity, the UN Human Rights Office said in a long-awaited report released yesterday. 
The report calls for an urgent international response over the allegations of torture and other rights violations in Beijing's campaign to root out terrorism. UN Human Rights Chief Michel Bachelet brushed aside Chinese calls for the office to withhold the report, which follows her own trip to Xinjiang in May, and which Beijing contends is part of a Western campaign to smear China's reputation. The report has fanned a tug of war for diplomatic influence with the West over the rights of the region's native Uyghurs and other predominantly Muslim ethnic groups. Hours before the release, China's UN ambassador Yang Jun said Beijing remained firmly opposed to the release. You can subscribe to 5 Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5 Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5 Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate. Delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.